My name is Kim Siebert. I'm with S Diamond Angus of Henderson, Nebraska. And uh, we run about 100 to 150 cows in a purebred operation, about half red Angus, half black Angus. And uh, met the people at Rio through a farm show much like this. Matter of fact, it was this farm show. And uh, we had some situations in our herd that we weren't happy with. We were fairly confident they were nutrition oriented. So we had hired lots of nutritionists and had a lot of people try different things and none of it seemed to work. And I thought, well, we'll give the real product a shot at this and it solved our problem. I was a loose mineral guy, I'm not a tub guy. So we did loose mineral for about three years, maybe four. And then in visiting with other guys that were on the product, they saw some benefits I didn't think I was seeing. And so then we've been now on the tubs for two years. On the tub side, we, we actually, because we feed with a feed truck, we actually saw the cows not wanting more feed. Um, and so we were feeding less pounds in the ration. And that's something you notice when you're driving the feed truck, uh, which we probably didn't notice or didn't pay attention to when we were on the loose mineral only. Uh, but when we switched the tubs, we kind of noticed that. Uh, for us, it was, it was more of a, from kind of on the reproductive side, but more in the bulls than in the females. How many bulls pass semen check on the first try? That was the thing I was struggling with. And we started on it like this time of year in September. That, that set of bulls got it from winning time till yearling time. It was an improvement. But the big improvement came when the cows, when the calves that were inside mom had been on it from then till the end. That's when we saw the really big, wow. And when you're seeing that in the bulls, you know what's happening in the heifer calves too. And I happened to meet one of my bull customers and he had fed some kind of tub that had flaxseed in it. And he said, boy, that's the best our bulls have ever seen me check, older mature bulls. And I went, huh, okay, file that away for information. And then I got here and met you guys and one of the ingredients in your tub is flaxseed. And I went, okay, there's a sign that maybe this is worth giving a shot. And. Uh, the price was a little bit hard to swallow. I, I, I still complain about that to Trevor, and, uh, and I always will. That, he better get used to it. And yet I'm still on it because it, it works. It really works. I, I think our overall calf health, the amount of calves we have to, if they get sick, if we have to treat them once, they get better, or versus retreat, we don't have near as many retreats. And I think that has to do with the overall gut health. Yes, they're still gonna get sick. That's still part of life but they're gonna snap back a little quicker and stay and get back on feed a little quicker because of the gut health thing. And then we've seen some things in the soil health in the pastures where we've been on it. When we pick up a new pasture, we see different things that we don't see in the pastures where we've been on for four or five years. Um, a few less flies. Um, I think the, the dung beetles getting into the fly patties a little sooner. You have less fly larvae hatching and doing their thing. Um, it, it just, it's just, you know, the funniest thing about being at that rancher's round table was you listen to everybody say something and you didn't know quite how to put it in words, but yeah, you'd seen it too. And then it became cumulative at that point. You know, one guy would say this, well, I've seen this. Well, yeah, we've kind of seen it. And all of a sudden we're all seeing the same 10 things but none of us had really equated it back to the Rio product being the difference maker. But we hadn't thought that, well, I guess we've seen it, but we hadn't, we'd forgotten that part. But the next guy brought it, oh yeah, we've kind of seen that too. And it's like, okay, there can't be 25 coincidences in the same room, it just can't happen, you know? And that was kind of one of those aha moments, like, ooh, it really is this stuff, cool. You know, here's the deal, and, and I, guys that get started on it, I make it pretty clear to them, that first year, you may or might, may not see any results. And it may not pay for itself that first year. But that second year, you're going to be amazed. And, and I mean that, and, and I've always been a big guy in prenatal programming. I kind of believed in that. After hanging out with Dr. Hall for two, three days here in Minnesota, it cemented it in. And I, I don't think we give enough credit to what that really does. And to me, that when you have a calf being set up inside the cow for success, that's gonna make a huge difference down the road in herd health, reproductive performance down the road. 
you know, we actually visibly saw it when we were on the mineral in the bull calves. The bull calves improved, but the bull calves were inside mom, blew the doors off what we had been doing. And it's like, wow, just imagine what that's doing for everything else then. And, uh, you know, I know one of the gentlemen that was at the Ranchers Round Table that particular year, which was 2019, up in the Sand Hills, they had a terrible preg check. I mean, a lot of guys had 40, 50% opens and uh, were huge train wrecks. And when this gentleman that was up at the Ranchers Round Table, we asked him, he goes, well, we had some success and we had some wrecks. And he says, so I'm a, I'm a numbers guy. So I broke it down. Is we had more opens in our five-year-old and older cows than we did in our five-year-old and younger cows. We all went, well, that's not right. That's not how that works. We've, we've had cows, that, that is not how that works. He goes, yeah. But I've been on this product now. Those five-year-old cows were inside mom when I started real. The older cows had been on real for four or five years, but they weren't on it when they were inside mom. He says, I don't want to say that's what it was, but how can you say that's not what it was? Yeah, it's paying for itself. I, I wouldn't be using the product if I did. I'm a cheapskate by nature, so there is. And I've had neighbors say, man, that stuff's really expensive. Kim's a cheapskate. If he's using it, God, this shit must really work. And yeah, I've got people on it simply because I'm using it, and they know I don't spend money that I don't have to spend. It's not who I am. But I think for a new guy starting up, that first year, you may see some results but the big results you'll see in years two and three.